Hey guys, Keith here. Um, if your show is anything like mine, you've probably got a mixture of um, uh, static or AC elements along with all of your pixels. And I do have a couple of them. I've got a, a blow up Santa and I've got three reindeers. Um, and at the moment I just use these single line models with a single dot and when I'm watching it in the sequence, I've got to remember, oh, that's my blow up Santa. That's what that is. Um, so I've added a new model type. Let's add this one here. And we come over to here and it's an image and we're going to call him, we're going to call him blow up Santa um, one because I've already got the blow up Santa there and I don't want to delete him yet. And so we go in here and we'll need to choose an image file, um, which I've found a reasonable one on the internet here. Um, and now you see we have a, an image of Santa who happens to sit here in my neighbor's yard. It's a little bit fatter than that. Um, we do need to uh, set it onto the same start channel, which is output three channel one. Um, for those, sorry, there we go. So output three channel one. Um, I use outputs because these things are actually using one of the protocols that don't support universe numbers. So I use the output um, uh, mechanism. Um, and you can see that he was blow up Santa and blow up Santa. So I can go and um, I'm gonna leave it there for now, but I could obviously delete that and just leave the image there. And let me add one of the reindeer. I have a couple of um, wireframe reindeers out here. Um, we'll call this large reindeer one. And he's uh, gonna be the same ID as this guy here, who's on three, three. So we'll put him on three, three. Okay, and we obviously need to get an image, which I've downloaded. This one here, um, he looks pretty cool and so on. And obviously I only have a few elements, but I could go through and put reindeer all over the place. I could put a different reindeer image for my other reindeer. So they're quite distinct either way. So we'll save that. And the next thing I want to do is show you what it looks like in the sequencer. So let's go over and create a quick animation sequence. Now I've set these up as their default. So by default, um, the string properties for these are single color white. So they'll respond to white. So if we go down and uh, let's quickly sort these so I can find the damn things. Sort by name, looks good. So let's start with our B, blow up Santa number one. There he is there. And so if we drop a, a, an on effect on him and stretch him out, he turns on, he shows up in the sequencer as an image and up here as an image. Um, if I set the fade over time, then obviously the image fades away in the sequencer as you'd expect it to. Um, and the same goes with my large reindeer. If I go down to L, 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 H, J, K. Large reindeer, there they are. And so if we set our large reindeer and do a similar thing, our reindeer fades away. And so saves you going and building a custom model or having to put up with a single dot as uh, your, your image um, or your prop. Um, and I think it looks a, a lot cooler. Definitely my blow up Santa. I mean, seriously, it almost looks like him. Well, maybe not quite. All right, guys, um, I hope you join it. That'll be in 2018.3. Thanks, guys.